Local fire district is concerned about the changes OSHA is presenting involving fire departments all across the country. Chris Bryant spoke with the Willard Fire Protection District about how the proposed changes could affect it. It is never easy asking for money. The taxpayers at Willard just gave me a bond issue um, two years ago. Even with that, Chief Ken Scott with the Willard Fire District knows each year there's going to be increases in money needed. Our insurances go up every year. Um, you know, wages and salaries goes up every year. But now a new worry for the fire district. OSHA is looking to upgrade the rules and regulations when it comes to fire service in departments across the country, which could significantly increase their budgets. But then when you throw the OSHA requirements where... Uh, a new volunteer comes in and I got to hand him $25,000 in turnout gear and training and he's a volunteer. Um, we can't afford that. The last time the guidelines got updated was more than 40 years ago. Since 1980 and uh, now it just came out and uh, they, they've looked at our occupation and we've not reduced our deaths and our injuries. According to OSHA, the National Fire Protection Association says on average there are a little more than 72 deaths of career and volunteer firefighters each year. While the numbers are concerning, Chief Scott knows that the new regulations could be a strain on specialty teams with the fire departments as well. We do a water rescue team. Uh, it would address my equipment and my training on my water rescue. Um, I don't want to... Uh, if I dive a guy in a pond that's full of airplane fuel, you know, what, what's my repercussions for that? In Willard, Chris Bryant, KY3 News. To read more about those changes, send to see a statement from the Department of Labor about the issue. Just check out the story on KY3.com.